Yo, 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 back with another one. Look what it is. It came in for the bike, the new stator. So we about to go, I'm about to, I gotta clean all this shit up with some brake fluid, brake cleaner. I mean, I said brake fluid, brake cleaner. Tried to clean this up as best as possible. That's just the old cover though. But finally, we go ahead and put the stator back fucking on. I mean, stator, not stator. Stator back on and hopefully get my bike running. It is way too nice outside and since Yo, I bought some handle crisps for this bike. Look at this shit. I fucked up, bro. I fucked up. That side is perfectly fine. Like, this shit stuck on there. This one. Then I'm trying to find a way to take these shits out. But this screw and this screw are literally spinning. But none of them's coming out, though. Because I bought some nice OEM chrome ones. Some nice OEM chrome. And... Can't even get the shits on. Like, um, Fox Body, getting pretty good progress on that actually. But that's gonna be another video. Y'all need to worry about that right now. We're gonna about the about the 350 right now. So what I'm about to do is about to go ahead, um, open everything up because it came with a new stator, a new gasket, which is perfect. Then I'm about to just go ahead and clean the inside. I all that up with some brake cleaner and. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get them going, man. All right, let me come back with a quick update. Um, after a slight modification and um, figuring out how the fuck I took the shit off, got it all back on. Um, just gotta put the gasket on. No, all the way. Um, get the gasket on and then pop it up. On to the side, bolt it down, um, plug the battery in, and just pretty much pray. But I have a feeling that the battery's been unplugged for a while, and it's probably not gonna have any juice, but I lied. Just found me a battery warmer, so I'm about to go plug this stuff in, and I'll plug it to the battery to make sure that the battery's got um, juice while I go ahead and finish up. The rest of this, get the gasket on, uh, mount, you know, put it, pop it up there. Probably gonna move the bike over there maybe a little bit. Probably put the bike over there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do all this shit and uh, catch back in. Hopefully, guys, we go get my bike up running. I wanna go riding again. I wanna get practice my wheelies again. Um, I've been missing out, man. Summer's here and she needs a wash. So I could go ahead and get this going, get this knocked out, and I could really just focus on the Mustang and other shit. So I'll be right back. Crazy, I do not remember it being this hard taking it out than it is putting it back in though. Like what in the fuck?
think the T thing lining up. I think the teeth are lined up. Honestly, I think it's just that easy. You just, you can look and tell in terms of where this all the way, like this, the bottom lip of the, of the bolt would be up against here. And then the link, I don't know. It's just, if you know, you know. I think it's pretty much common sense. But I don't really think it's that hard. Now that I went through it, it's always hard. When you think about it too much, but I'm honestly just praying, guys, that this is just gonna be real simple. One, two, three. And that I can honestly go on with my life. You know, eight mil. battery on the charger right now I'm gonna actually go now the smart thing to do right now would definitely be like a crisscross like a star pattern so I'm gonna go up here then down here now up here now down here Hmm. I don't really like that. I don't like that. How that? So now up here. And now. Uh, 
is in bulk. Oh, no. We got the last one. Ah, and I think we found us a winner in terms of what bolt actually goes where. So I did miss one. So I missed one. Uh-huh. I mean, so let's put this one here. This little guy. There we go. I think um I should bring back my bolt, bitch. I think this uh Yeah. There we go. And then, I don't know, this boat is just like, you just running away today, huh? You trying to be a runaway today? There we go. So she is, oh. Still gotta do that one. Ah ha ha. Honestly, that one, I think I'm just gonna flop it, baby. Uh, Big Mac Daddy 4. I ain't pulling out no little John. Just because we need that extra security. I swear I bought this shit and I typed and I searched up 03 Yamaha Warrior Stater. And nothing is fucking fitting. I'm dead about to check my eBay now to make sure that I bought. I swear to God, I bought that shit. Yeah, an 03 Yamaha Warrior 350. Great, now I'm about to go pull the old skater to see if these fittings even look the same, bro. So, what do you fucking know? So, The plugs I'm trying to show y'all right now. Focus. Focus. Need you to focus. So these plugs are not the fucking same, bro. Yo, honestly, man, this week ain't been a good week for me, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. And it's only Monday. <sighs> it's like, why? This is not like... So I don't know who lied. The eBay person I bought this shit off of or the person I bought this bike off of. Because, bro, I can't even run this shit now. I got dead can't. These are two different fucking plugs, yo. So this was an epic fucking fail. <laughs> My first stator, and you know what sucks? I stripped one of the screws in here. That sets the stator inside. I stripped one of the fucking screws. So that's gonna be real fun to try to take out. Like, yo, I just been taking L's left and right, man. This shit is crazy, bro. Um. All right, then. So back to the motherfucking drawing board. This sucks. Wow, this is wow. Like I'm really lost for words right now. Like I'm really like, ah, she dead ass, bro. All right. So now it's time to um go on eBay again, and buy another one. <laughs> Yay! I'll go buy another one now. So. Yeah. All right, so that's going to conclude this shit. Because now, um...
But yeah, we got to the gym, bro. I don't know what's going on, bro. I say shit, it's crazy. Yeah, it's just 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 crazy. So I'm like lost for like all motivation and all types of shit right now. So what the fuck? So just pretty much let me just hit it with the one time for the one time. Alright man, I'll catch y'all on whatever next one man. This shit is getting insane. But here we are, about two weeks later. Got the right stater this time. So hopefully we can go ahead and get my bike back up and running. Only thing I'm gonna be worried about is the bolts on the ins the, the screws on the inside that place down the stator um inside the case and shit. That I know I stripped them and shit last time, so it's gonna be real fun trying to take those out, but at least I know I got the right parts and shit and I really miss riding my bike, so I'm just praying everything goes fucking right today, bro. So Let's see what happens, and it's also like fucking 6.30 in the morning too, so I got up real early just so I could get this shit done because, man, do I miss riding my fucking bike. I'm missing out on all the summer fun. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I could get done. I'll probably say about maybe a good 10 to 15 minutes later, here we are, and voila. Um, yeah, these shits are actually, the bolts still hold down the stator inside. They actually kind of strip pretty bad. This shit could focus. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this shit's a strip pretty bad. So I'm gonna need to go to like O'Reilly's or some shit. Let's see if I can try to find those same balls, but it's gonna be pretty easy. Just unbolt this shit and um, put the new one in. Well, let's go. Nice little update. So we got that bracket down for that one. This bracket that I forgot to add the last time I did the stator, the wrong stator. So we got that down. And obviously, I don't got the three bolts holding this down yet because I think I'm gonna try to go to like O'Reilly's or some shit and. Ooh, focus focus you see how bit up that shit is because apparently these screws are mad like brittle or they mad soft so when you if you was to go and do this you could go in with a um, with an impact um, or whatever but you gotta apply mad pressure and make sure you just do it like quick and fast don't go in there with a screwdriver because that's not gonna be, I guess, enough torque or whatever. It's gonna just, literally, it's just gonna be mad soft, like as if you're just cutting over cake or some shit. So, yeah. Then I'm gonna have to come back and uh, deal with this little part. I don't know, I guess. Put it down like that. I don't know. If I have to shave it down, I will. Cut it off, I will, like I did the last one. But off uh, anything. Let me just look at my old, my original one. And the original one. Well, what do you know? It's only got one. So, whatever. What the hell was that used for? To hold it down? Yeah, shit, whatever. But. I mean, I got a new 2003 one, I guess I could try to sell or whatever, or just go in a garbage one. I know you saw my dogs. Got a 03 one I could sell, whatever. But, I think I'm just gonna leave that there for now, because I don't want to, I don't want to put it in with those fucked up screws, because down the line, if I gotta sit here and take it out again, or go back in there, do whatever, I really don't want my life to be a living hell. And I was able to wire brush and get the old shit off pretty good too. I bought a wire brush set. Look how good that shit is. I did pretty alright. First times I know I got a wire brush. The fox body right here. The headers. Gotta get all that old shit off. So, but 
we focused on one bitch at a time. Get the easy shit out first, or else we're gonna be on the hard shit forever. Um, no shit. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run down to my nearest O'Reilly's. Yeah, call it a day. Well, not call it a day, but I'll come back when I got this shit all together and um, turned around and all that other good shit. So, light off. Oh man, I got a fucking mess, bro. Organized mess. Fuck it. All right, man. I'll be back. So coming back from O'Reilly's, couldn't find the one. Come on, focus, focus, focus for me. Couldn't find the one with the Phillips head, but fucking, I'm gonna just go with a regular um, six mil head, and it matches up pretty good. Um, all I'm gonna need to do is just obviously go into my little washer thing and whatever. Either take these wash, find a way to get these washers off and put them on here, or just grab my own and put them on there, but. This should work out pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all this stuff done. And also, I bought this. Yeah, I'm going to start paint removing shit off metal just for fun. Now, actually, I do got some things I want to do. Like, um, customize my license plate and shit like that. But this is why I don't go to fucking stores. I'd be buying shit I don't fucking need. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and get back to y'all. Alright, well, we got two of them in with only one split washer. This one, for some reason, the bolt is lined. Everything's lining up, but it's just not screwing. And I don't know. I, as of right now, like, I don't care because I really want to get my bike up and running. So, two out of three bolts are in or screws. I'll take it because that shit is sturdy as fuck. Um, and then now... Yeah, all I gotta worry about now is just figuring like this shit out. Um, and then just stick it up on there. So yeah, I'm gonna figure that out and then I'll probably show y'all what I'm about to easy on feet when I'm uh, putting this bitch back on. So I think I see the problem. I think I'm supposed to have that like white part right there, like over there or something. Um, shit. That's why it's like going in kind of over there and then not over there. So I'm trying to keep this gasket intact too. Leave that shit perfect because that shit is a bitch. So fuck. Now I gotta redo all this. Hold up. Alright, so epic fail again on my part. This is supposed to be on the bottom. <laughs> so I gotta flip the stator all the way around. Which means I gotta unscrew all this shit. Oh, man. So I'm getting so close, but so far, bro. This shit's starting to piss me off. But that's the reason why I was wondering why I wasn't fitting in. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? But I literally gotta flip this shit upside down. So, Well, upside right, because it is upside down. All right, I'll be back. Oh yeah, and I said earlier these are six millimeter heads. No, these are fucking 10, 10 millimeter heads. I don't know why I said six. It's probably because it says six M on the box, but that's probably not what it means. All right, whatever. So I decided, I was like, yo, fuck this shit. I, I was like, man, I don't really care about recording this part. Got it in finally, so I didn't need to flip it over. 
I just needed to use this to do a nice blow all the way around evenly. The gaskets in there, everything is straight now. Just gotta probably. bolting it down to do the rest but I ain't even I'm not even gonna bolt it down I'm literally just gonna plug everything up as is and get the battery back on here and see if we're good to go because if this shit doesn't start up um I guess I should start getting giving fuel to the carburetor but I'm gonna go ahead and just uh plug this up then uh, go grab the battery plug it in and uh Hopefully she fires up, man. I want my, I want to ride my bike again. I'm not getting any type of uh, spark out of this. So I'm gonna run down real quick to my nearest auto parts store. Um, swap this shit out real quick. Going about my fucking day, hopefully. Fingers crossed when I come back, this thing starts up and I can get back to riding and you know, at least get something up and running again and working and have fun. Ah, <sighs> man, this shit is crazy, man. Here we are, new plug, we back. Now let's see. Let's just go ahead and make sure we get spark though.
don't know if I saw a spark though. Hmm. I think I'm ready to shoot myself at this point, bro. It's not even the fucking spark plug. Oh my god. So, looks like I'm gonna be defeated again. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to try to look into and buying a new CDI box to see if that helps. If not, then I'm just gonna have to really redo all the ignition points at this point. Um, the spark plug boot might have to change that. Um, Cause it's got a new spark plug, a new stator. And it's got gas. Um, it sucks because I can't even drain out the gas from my carburetor cause the screw for it is now stripping. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this L, walk away before I get any more frustrated. I tried taking it up a hill, popping it in gear. Still nothing. So I don't know what's going on. This shit ran perfectly before I went on a vacation that I went. Nobody touched it. And I can verify that because I got a tracking device on it. It did not move now one ounce. I'm the only man in my household. So nobody's gonna come over and touch my shit. Um so yeah, like it's crazy. I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and just take this arrow, sleep on it, do whatever, do some more research, I guess. Um, really try to start to learn this thing. I'm hot, tired, sweaty, and I still gotta go out and go do other stuff today. So I'm not gonna let this hold me up all day. So whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, catch you on the next one.